Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. This one's concerning non-return valves. This particular one I've got here is not all the style one, but they're all virtually the same sort of thing. There's a little pin there, the water passes and opens the valve. See it there, opening. Okay, and shutting. And basically, water goes that way, uh, but it won't come back that way. It hits a full stop. So the idea is water can't go back. Okay, so what's the benefits of these? Well, plenty really, if you don't want water to be mixing or contaminating uh, between hot and cold feeds, this type of thing. So a lot of people put them on maybe a hot to stop it, the mixer tap from dropping down and being drawn through. Now, lots of mixer taps that these days, I've got these built in now, so I'm going to worry too much about it as you did do, but the cheaper ones probably still haven't got a non-return valve in any of them so it is possible to contaminate but what's the problem well if you've got a combi boiler you're fine the mains pressure on that is the same as your mains pressure on your cold taps so it will always open this up because the mains pressure from the hot or the cold will always pop that and open and work it will restrict the flow rate a bit because obviously you can see in there uh, it's not much to get around is there when it's open so it's got to kind of come around it like that um, so it will reduce the flow pressure slightly but still not enough to worry about with mains or a combi boiler but what about if you've got an F&E system that's when it gets tricky now probably downstairs kitchen not tap probably have enough pressure for that to open so they don't need too much but well, what about in the bathroom upstairs well sometimes i've known the basin taps not to work uh, because of one of these you know it's kind of not got enough pressure to open that valve to feed the tap itself so when it's got tank pressure cold feed or your f and e system the pressure is a lot less uh, they are meant to open fairly easy with a little light pressure but I have known these to restrict the water pressure coming out of it or the flow rate as we'd like to call it that comes out once these have been fitted so you can be fitted and then find that upstairs wash basin for instance your hot comes out really slow a lot slower than it did before because it's got to get round as I said that that thing in there the actual non-return part uh, so it's obviously got to slow the thing down so just to be wary about fitting these on cold feeds that are fed from a tank or indeed f and e system so your hot tap probably downstairs you'll have enough pressure still will restrict it a bit but it'll be okay but just upstairs i've known that to happen where these have been fitted uh, someone's called me around and said the hot water is very slow on my hot basin tap uh, and I've looked and oh, well, the tap's okay, it's quite wide. I've had a look underneath to see if there's a, a, one of those terrible isolation valves that are shut down. But no, what I found was one of these. And uh, of course, it was a non-return valve being fitted and uh, it was restricting the flow. As soon as I took it out and put it back in line with a coupling instead, uh, the flow returned to the basin tap. So they do have their limits where they can be feared. Okay, that's it though. Just a quick one for you in on that one. Catch you next time. Darren33. Bye-bye.